What's up, YouTube? For Instagram people and all of that other shit. For those who don't know, my name is JC Poe. It's the JC Poe, and this is a heart to heart from New Orleans. And let's go. Michael Knight on the beat is so damn rude. So what happened at the New Island? The New Ya baby. First of all, it started off with a bank. And we decided to upgrade to first class. Now, I have never rode first class before, but I wanted to give it a try. You know, just not like I got money, I'm out here spending money. I'm just practicing spending money for when I'm rich. I don't got it like that. I just wanted to pretend for this trip. So we pretend rich and we flew first class. I think they did this for a reason. They know who they were doing this to because, child, I love first class. But anyway, so we got through the TSA like that, got to the plane, sat down in our nice, comfortable seat with plenty of leg room. You know, a bitch was able to sit back and kick up. So I sit down, pop in my AirPods, the stewardess comes up, um, yes, hi, um, would you like anything to drink? And I was like, yeah, let me just get it like a little, you know, a little water would let me she was like no you get two complimentary drinks and i was like oh well y'all already know y'all already know the jc Paul. well i already got i already got me a little tito's and vodka as you can see here enjoying my drink on the plane popped in my little netflix airpods and a nigga was cooling all the way to the noia so we finally landed um baggage claim out there was insane it took like an hour and a half for us to get our bags out of the little thing that goes around and around <sighs> that was a little bit of a on the trip but we got out of the airport after we got our bags, got to the hotel, met up with our other friend, and we went straight out into Bourbon Street. My favorite time of day is night. <laughs> but anyway, Bourbon Street was freaking lit. The streets were packed. I mean, packed house. We was kind of hungry, and we was drinking, and we was trying to drink more, so we knew we wanted to get some sort of food on our stomach. So we went into this restaurant called Crystal's. I don't know if y'all ever know what a Crystal's is, but if you're from up north, it's very similar to um, White Castle. Like, extremely similar with the little square, little sliders and stuff like that. There's a lot of tourists, first of all, but like the people out there are very friendly. I was not expecting that much friendliness. Um, so we was out there, we was drinking, walking up and down the streets, you know, saw what the city had to give, and then we headed back to the hotel. Luckily, we did head back into the hotel at the right time. My God, today. Because um, there was a big ass, like going on. I don't know what happened. Um but yeah, they let them guns blend. You know, um some people got shot. Five people were injured. Guns, I don't know. They were shooting in the Noya. It goes down. It's a violent city. But that's why we hit the dip. We did what needed to be done and then go. See, that's why you don't stay out too late. You know when it's time to dip. Don't fight that urge. Listen to your spirit, honey, because she'll let you know, bitch. Bitch. Go. So we woke up in the morning. And we decided to go to the French Quarter because we wanted to see another part of the city. So it was the daytime, so it was safe. Hold on, my hair was looking crazy. My hair was doing something wild. Get the camera. Mo, please. Can you adjust this? Thank you. All right. Um, all right, anyway. So we went to the French Quarter. We checked it out. It was lit. Okay, very cute. It was very, very, very hot. Really like historical looking buildings. That's not a word. I'm gonna keep it rolling though. They were like really historical looking buildings and stuff like that. Um, it was really pretty. Um, looking Disney, looking very, um, you know, slavery, giving very much slavery, because there were, you know, the cannonballs and the man on the, white man on the horse type of thing. So it was giving very much that. So I didn't take any pictures by it, just kind of, you know, videoed on through. And then we went to um, the boat. We got on a boat and it was dope. Like we boarded, we saw the thing of the things. We was, it was going to the front of the boat, the back of the boat. There was live music on board. So, so much fun on the boat. Until um, it started raining. 
we were going out you know and then we saw the rain you see the rain coming down we drive it out i'm like yo like it's getting real out there we need to turn around we see all these boats coming in coming in shore right and we still driving out i'm like yo this captain is bugging so we see not gonna turn around i mean i get it we paid the money but shit at this point i'm good playboy turn this boat around he said now nah, we're gonna know you baby we're going away we go away so we did we go away. And we went right down the uh, Ch the Mississippi River. I kept on saying the Chattahoochee child. But it was it started raining like a motherfucker on that boat. <laughs> I mean, panic, distress, panic, and it was pandemonium. Everything in the The bitches was moving. Everybody. Was <laughs> Frontals was slipping. Okay, twist was coming undone. It was a sad day for the girls. It was like a wet t-shirt kind of way to happen. The girl done broke her phone. A girl done lost her phone. The captain was trying to get somebody to let somebody know that the girl done lost her phone. Child, it was a whole escapade when it started raining on that damn boat. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, My edge is a little like, we you going, where you going? Ooh, my hair is swelling. You know I got that butter up. Cause you so big. Oh, cause you so big. Girl, that like, bitch, turn us around. Bitch, turn me around, bitch. It's fucking raining, ho. I ain't trying to be out here. All these boats coming in. We out here waving to the people. I'm like, no, like, this is not the tea. My bitch done crack her, the back of her phone because it's raining. Pandemonium. Now we in distress. Please, please. I'm trying to slide with a rich nigga and be blessed. Like, come on. Turn this boat around. I got, I got plans when we get to the shore. Please, uh, captain, my captain. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And then we left the boat, you know, and then we took a little stroll down to the French Quarter. We went to this place that everybody recommends if you want to get the beignets. Oh, you want the beignets, babe? You gotta go to Cafe Du Monde. You gotta go to Cafe Du Monde. Cafe Du Monde. You gotta go to Cafe Du Monde. That's all I heard down there, right? You gotta go to Cafe Du Monde. So, me and my girl, we left the shore, got off of the pier, and went down to the Cafe Du Monde. And order us some beignets, baby. That's, that's like the know your thing to do. So, when in New Orleans, you gotta get so we went to Cafe Du Monde, Du Monde, Du Monde, Cafe Du Monde. Cafe Du Monde was like crack on a freaking, I don't even know. It was like crack. It was so good. It was so good. It was like a mound of like soft donut, but like not donut. And then they just put powdered sugar. They just dunked the whole bucket of powdered sugar on top. And we're like, here you go. So you got like a little donut and then a whole bucket of powdered sugar on top. And then they just serve it to you in a bag. Like, here you go. So then you just try to like eat it. You know. <sighs> With the, don't you inhale that. Because that powdered sugar is going to fuck you up. You gonna, that's it. That's going to be your last at Cafe Du Monde. So you, you got to like, you know, you got to come in for it. From, from underneath. And get that. Get that. You got to get that. That donut. That dough part. And then you gotta let that powdered sugar fall in, cause if you don't do it that way, you you gonna die. You just gonna die. One of the one of my favorite things about New Orleans, besides the people and the food, is the way you can drink. You can drink how you however you want. You can walk on the street with an open container. You can go to a drive-through slushy daiquiri place and get you a big old Slurpee at the drive-through and take it on the road and drink it on the road. You can. Have a slushy on the street. You can take shots on the street. This girl came up to me and gave me a shot in my throat. Oh, that y'all know who I'm talking about. That TikTok girl. She literally came up, put the shot in my throat, and then got down. Hurricane Harama, my ass, like a WWE move, and sent the alcohol down my throat. I was in the street, like, bitch, got down. Uh, but shit, that shit was lit. That shit was lit. I ain't even gonna hold you. Normally, this is crazy. I would definitely recommend going. Um, one of a, that was a very fun city. For like a quick little trip, I don't, I don't see why you need to spend like a. This is not a place where you need to spend like a whole week. Okay, this is like a quick little, quick little New Orleans trip. All right, all right. Um, awesome city. Would definitely do it again. 
And um, since you are watching, make sure you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.